This is David Bedeen reporting from the, from the Beit Agron Center. I work at the Center for Near East Policy Research and the Israel Resource News Agency. Uh, this is the sixth Israeli election that I've covered and uh, the most unusual of, of elections, to say the least, uh, because many people jumped from one party to the other. Uh, there was a new party called Blue and White, which ran this year, and at the top of it were three generals and one uh, one TV personality. So that makes things very interesting to see what's going to come out of this. Now, what we have here in the new election is, uh, first of all, a lack of a conclusive uh, result. The largest party is blue and white at 32. And the next one is Likud at 31. But that could change when the soldiers' votes are counted uh, in 24 hours. But what's most important is that the people from the Israel military have uh, basically uh, moved into a very, very important position in ways they haven't been in a long time. And it's the, not only, it's the section of the Israeli military that has been protecting the good name of the PLO, the Palestine Liberation Organization, and continuing with the Oslo peace process, uh, for better or worse. And uh, very frankly, the superficiality of these, uh, of these people who have been elected is something that's go that we'll have to deal with. In addition, another very important development happened, ha which happened in, in these elections, was the election of, a, of a, a very strong Arab list. Now, the Arab list, there's 13 members of the Knesset from the from uh, from three Arab political parties who got together in one list, uh, led by my, my a relatively young man, I'm, I'm an Uda, a uh, lawyer who's an Arab. And the problem is not the fact that they're Arabs, but the fact that they have uh, built associations with anti-Israel groups around the world and with the Palestine Liberation Organization. Now, this is going to pose a very important uh, challenge to the Israel political system. Because the Israel political system dictates that the uh, opposition leader is always informed of security matters as they're being as they're being uh, debated in the Knesset. Now that means that people who, that Arabs who are connected with factors that are hostile to Israel, at war with Israel, critical of Israel, um, uh, undermining Israel, will now have access to security information they've ever had before. Now, basically, they were quietly excluded from the. Uh, the Security Committee, in the, what's called the Foreign Defense and Security Committee of the Knesset, now they'll be part of it. So that's going to be a very major challenge. Now, at the same time, before the elections took place, our agency, the center at the Israel Resource News Agency at the Center for Near East Policy Research, we asked different parties what they felt about the new curriculum that the Palestinian Authority and UNRWA have introduced of late, and the uh, the 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 new the. the the political party that put us off the most was blue, blue and no, blue and white, not wanting to deal with the issue, and that's been a problem actually since the uh, spawning of the Oslo process. Uh, certain political parties not wanting to deal with the uh, incitement and the indoctrination of the uh, the new curriculum of the Palestinian Authority, which is getting their material from the uh, from the Palestine Liberation Organization. It's not only in in, in the in general terms something. Uh, Something that you can that, that people can perceive, it's a it's an incitement which is an indoctrination to war, and the this this war indoctrination uh, curriculum, which we have on our site IsraelBehindTheNews.com, is not something that these uh, these politicians who are newly uh, elected have wanted wanting to deal with. Uh, so that's going to that's going to affect things for 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 um, quite a long time, uh, the extent to which they they. Ignore uh, the terrorism connections of the uh, of the Arabs who live in Judea, Samaria, West Bank, and the extent to which they're getting financial support through left-wing and anti-Israel organizations around the world. So between Gantz's people, Gantz, the head of the Blue and White, and Ayman Uda's people from the Israel-Arab coalition, this is a very new challenge to Israel. Who's going to be prime minister? In 24 hours, we'll know. We are back to square one, and I suggest that you tune in. We'll try to on um, Thursday night uh, in, in Swedish time, Israel time, whatever. We'll try to do an update in terms of where things are at. And you can be in touch with us through our website, israelbehindthenews.com. 
all the features that are there. It's, an, it's a new website that's been running for 1990, since 1997, and it's a website that tries to keep people informed of the inside story of what's happening in Israel that may not be, pre, may not be reported in the mainstream media.